the uh, next time that there you have a stranger because you did some really nice things there. And one is you had them toss the food, the want of the food. Okay, when we have a fearful dog, if this is somebody holding the food, all right. If the dog, the want of the food, they might be willing to go in and snatch it. And often what they do is they sort of stretch out their neck. Their back legs yeah. are halfway back across the room. They grab it and they go back. So it sounds like yeah. that's what she did. Okay. Yeah. So really there is a lot of conflict there. Okay. And I think I would have continued to have them toss it a little tiny bit more because the beauty of tossing the food will A, so we know that she is very worried about getting closer. So we want it to be her choice. And I heard you say the word choice too. We want it to be her choice. So if they toss the food, even a little bit past her, she could then get the functional reward of a little bit of distance. Because remember, that's what she wants. That's what she yeah. still needs is that distance. So she could have that pepperoni and go, oh my goodness, I like that person. They just threw me some pepperoni. And then she turns back and she can sort of dictate her, her distance threshold. Num, 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 num. And she might get a little bit closer, right? If they toss yeah. another one, oh, she gets a little bit of pressure relief. Ooh, I can get that food. Oh, okay, thank God I got away just for a second. But oh my God, they just gave me some more food. And that's